here Judea is on camera today so Judea introduce yourself yeah she's pulling my earrings okay my name is Juda Onyechi Obodnaya Akpoke Judea say your name now eh <laughs> and I'm here with mama to answer a question Okay, Judah is going to make her own impute. Okay, okay. Hello, people. You're here with us live for show today. Okay, so thank you for joining us. You can comment, like, subscribe, and if you're a returning subscriber, we love you. We love you, say Judah. We love you. We love you. All right. So I'll be ask, answering a question. So someone asked the question somewhere on the platform where I belong and I know that that might be the reality for some persons okay so he said that he God told him that a particular lady was his wife he had peace with, with, with him within himself and all that and all that but he tried asking this lady out for one year and three months and she has turned him down and now his question or his problem is should he continue to wait or should he move on but the main problem is that he can't move on because he has become emotionally attached to the lady he said he can't bring himself to move on so I, I, I thought of the question I know that so many persons go through this kind of problem and let me let me say this first that whatever is God's will okay in the area of marriage it needs two people's participation do you understand so if God is telling me that so so person is my husband and he decides to go and get married to another person it's not my business okay it doesn't mean that God lied do you get it doesn't mean that God lied another person will come into this in, into the space okay when God prophesies us I say when God prophesies when God sends his promises if the someone doesn't want to participate okay someone else we come into the picture and his promise will be fulfilled do you understand so like I said first off the lady was not involved she was not interested or probably she didn't hear so she had to move on so another thing is that probably the guy was already in a fantasy world with the lady and he was hearing according to the state of his heart that's where I want to dwell on now there is, there is this thing called fantasy you know when people build fantasy I was living in a fantasy world so if I see a guy that I crush on in my mind I've already built house we've already had children I've already imagined how he'll be in the house how he'll be a, a businessman he'll be going on trips and I'll be at home with my big shop with my children and all that and all that before you know you get emotionally attached to the person who does not even know you do you understand so let's let's be careful about fantasy so it's a possibility yes she's saying her own it's a possibility that this particular person had already built up a fantasy about this lady and he's hearing things of course you will you will hear things I've heard things before thinking that someone <laughs> was my husband but I did know that I've already built a world you know fantasy world with him inside do you understand so please for the question of the boy of the brother i would say number one we need human participation for god's will to be done okay number two is that and because of that since she's not in she's not participating you have to move on number two is that because he cannot move on probably he has built emotional attach you know my husband asked me can how can he be emotionally attached when he's not close to the lady that is as a result of fantasy living in fantasy you can really be emotionally attached okay so let's avoid any form of fantasy you know thinking you know in in your mind you've already formed how you will walk and how you will go with this particular person okay so let's be careful if you like somebody like the person enough to move on okay if the person is not your spouse move on with with uh, with, with with your life and don't cage yourself in fantasy all right god bless you we'll see you next time bye to say bye bye <laughs>